Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited to be filming a video for you guys. I am going to be filming a project tent pan. So it's been quite some time since I've done a project pan. Um, the last one that I did was a roulette and it, went, it ended on October 31st, but the last like seasonal one that I did ended on um, September 21st. So it's been a really, really long time since I've chosen products to start and do a project. I am doing my uh, sample Sundays, which is kind of a little mini project pen type project, um, but it's not as big as this one. And this one is all going to be all makeup. So I'm going to start picking up the products and showing you guys what they are. Um, I'm starting this project today, which we are um, February 10th, and I am going to be ending this project on um, June 21st. So this is how long the project is going to go for. It's going to go for about four months. Also, the items in this project are items that I want to use up in 2017. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below, but I've pretty much chosen um, the items from this project based off of that list and off of my inventory that I also will be linking down below. So the first item is a lip gloss and it is from Gerard Cosmetic. It's the Buttercream Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like. It is completely full at this point. I've used it like maybe 10 times tops, even less than that I believe, but this is what I'm starting off with. It's rather a big um, tube of lip gloss and I will see how far I can get on it. Um, it is part of the lip color that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing two things, one on top of the other, and this one is the one that I've used on top. I've been using it um, over the last month and I've really been enjoying it. I am uh, working on the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette for my 1 month 1 palette, and this is a perfect color to go with it. The other lip product that I'm wearing on my lips today is also part of this project and it's a Too Faced Lip Cream Lipstick in the shade Taffy. This is how much I have. I also, it's another product that I've used maybe 10 times so it's pretty much full at this point. Um, these lip cream lipsticks are really, really creamy so they are easy to go through but I cannot use them. Um, I need to pretty much top them with something just because um, on my lips it really creases a lot. So on its own, it doesn't look too, too good on my lips, although it's like a very creamy formula and it's really like moisturizing and stuff, it doesn't really work well with my lips. So I will pretty much be combining these two most of the times. I don't think I will be wearing this one on its own a lot, not because the color is not pretty or the formula is not comfortable, just because it creases on me really, really badly. The next item that I have is a foundation. It's a L'Oreal True Matte Lumi in the shade W3. Um, I haven't marked this one yet just because it was lying flat in my drawer. Um, I'm going to let it settle for a few, for like a day or so. And once it is going to settle, I'm going to mark it. But I'm thinking I'm about like down to here. Um, this foundation, I pretty much have to use it out this year because I've had it for a while. And I don't want it to go bad and to break me out. But basically, I wear foundation like once a week. Um, so it's going to be really challenging for me to use this one up. I will try and use it a little bit more often than I typically do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it, but I'm going to um, aim to do as much progress as I can. The next item that I have is an eyeliner. This is from Marc Jacobs. And this, I've already rolled it up, and this is how much I have left in this one. This one I don't think will be an issue to finish up, but I still want to use it because I am also planning on using up another eyeliner this year, so I want to knock this one out as fast as possible to move on to the other one. The next item that I have is an eyeshadow, and it is from a quad by Lise Wattier. It is the Champagne and Chocolate Quad. This is like the highlighter shade. It is a like white shade, but it's not overly pigmented. Like if I build up the swatch, that's what it looks like. And if I just transfer it on my hand, this is what the color actually looks like when it's built up. Um, it has a nice little sheen, and you can kind of share it out a little bit, so it's just like a glow. Um, I intend to wear this on my eyes but also as a um, highlighter. It's what I'm wearing on top of my cheeks today so it's not overly, although it's a white highlight, it's not overly pigmented so I can actually get away with it in the winter. So I think I will be using it as a highlighter as much as possible and also integrate it into different eye looks um, to use it up. The next eyeshadow that I have was part of my Panda palette last year that I did not succeed at. Um, it's this little um, crease slash transition shade, if you will, uh, from Lise Wetsy, and it's uh, from the Les Velours Quad. I'm going to give you a quick swatch of it. This is what the shadow looks like on my finger, and this is what it looks like on my hand. Um, I can definitely get away with using that one 
as a crease as I mentioned, but I can also use it as a liner if I use um, something to uh, spray it with. And um, this is what the pen looks like. I am going to try to use as much as I can in the next four months and hopefully finish up. I have another powder product in this project that is also part of the pro that was part of the project last year. It was part of my 16 in 2016, and it was also part of another project in 2015. So I've been working on that one for like a year and a half, and I definitely want to use it up this year. There's a nice dip in the middle, but these bronzers last forever. It's the Too Faced bronzer, a chocolate soleil bronzer. Um, I will definitely be trying to, at the very least, I want to hit pan on this one in the next four months and hopefully even finish it. I might use it also on my body and I might scrape a little bit off to do like body creams and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the one that I want to use up for this project. The next item that I have is quite tiny, but you really don't need a lot of it. And it's the Lisboite Metamorphix Liquid Transformer. This product comes in a little dropper like this. I'm just gonna open it. Um, it's pretty much full at this point. And this is a product that you can use to foil shadows or to transform eyeshadows into a liner. So I might use this with um, my brown eyeshadow, this one, um, to make it a liner. And otherwise I might try to like um, use it to like amp up some not so pigmented shadows that I'm going to be wearing but I've had this in my collection for a very very long time and I would like to use it up and also um, now I'm using Fix Plus so I don't really need this to foil my shadows I only need I only use it to do a liner and I just want to move it out it's not a necessity in my collection anymore the next item that I have is MAC Fix Plus. I am jammed to that marking over there. There's not a, lot, a ton left in this bottle. I definitely think that I can use it, but for some reason I kind of forget to put it on after I put my makeup on. So putting it in this project will make me use it a little bit more and hopefully finish it. Afterwards, I might actually repurchase uh, a full size of it. I'm not sure yet, but I want to work on this for um, the next four months. The final item that I have is my only non-makeup item and it's a perfume. I think that perfume takes a while to use up still so I am feeling, I feel okay with adding a perfume in this project. It's not a full size, it's a um, the travel size and it's just from Commodity, it's the gold perfume. I am done to there and I've been using it for quite some time so it's definitely going to take me at least two months to use this one up. I don't know how many um, ounces there are in this but there's quite a bit in this little uh, vial and I want to use this one up. It's one of, part of the perfumes that I want to use up this year. If I can finish it before the end of this project, I might actually add in a replacement for this. I'm not sure yet. So <laughs> this is it for the items in my Project Pan Pan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are doing Project Pans as well and I'm not already following you, just leave a comment down below so I can go and check your videos out. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.